Hello everyone, welcome back to some more of our Imperator Rome. We are going to be, oh, I guess actually first let's check the look of the enemies. Everyone's an enemy who's not an ally, and right now that's basically everybody. Uh, Egypt, about the same, maybe, not entirely sure, Seleucids, Seleucids, same-ish. Rome, still kicking, Carthage, about the same. Uh, Saxonia, going through some problems. Helvetia getting bigger. Are you a local power? Regional power? Regional power. Okay, Helvetia coming up. Dedicatia, regional power. Legonia, regional power. Regional power. Settle tribe and a migratory tribe. Man, I still can't believe Rome just, like, just collapsed. Just straight up collapsed. What can we do against such reckless hate? Uh, so right now we are currently moving all of our armies to the east to try and prepare ourselves for a war against all these factions over here. It's not going to be fun to try and um, culture change all of them. It's going to kind of suck, honestly. But I want to go to a war, so we're going to do that. It's a perfect timing. They are currently in a war against Albania, who I'm assuming will be stronger than all of them combined. We don't have to fight Sarasia because we're going to be claiming on uh, this nation right here with this 22 cohorts within two provinces. My god. Uh, they still have 17, but only 54 manpower for this country. So I think we're going to be okay because we're going to be fighting Meotia, who is probably going to be mostly dead. We're going to be fighting these people, if they can even get to us. They may be able to go through Sarasia, I'm not entirely sure. And then we're going to be fighting, obviously, these. And then Sarmatia. Which Sarmatia should also be fighting against Albania, which they are. So hopefully they will be losing that as well. Ooh, we can get an invention. We want Army Morale Recovery. Or I want. Uh, this army right here is going to be meeting up with our badass commander Zendurmi, Zendurme Dromicheta. Our rank 10 commander or will they she is a clan chief right now okay hold on the city of Penticapion and Torica I'm assuming that's yeah Torica right there so we get to just get f basically almost free conversions? And the High Priest gains loyalty? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, so this person is, is now a cl or tribal... No, that's a tribal chief, right. No, 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 we're totally fine with this. Because we just made the change at the towards the end of the last episode. Our last chief died, and so she is now our tribal chief. So people being loyal to her is totally fine and she's going to be ruling for a long time so yeah we are going to combine these two armies we still are making 5.37 which is a nice amount and we should probably also be spending some money i'm going to leave this unit back to fight against any barbarians that may come because that is totally possible uh you need to be moving over here to get ready for our future war let's have you move that way please um, and then buildings, yes. Okay, so we want. Actually, let's go in, in here. So right here, we got a lot of freemen and some slaves. We could build a training camp. Why not? Let's do it. Ooh, another building here. Go another marketplace, and then we will promote these to citizens. So seven citizens, sixteen slaves. Who are currently unhappy. For the most part. Well, you are. Oh, wait. Convert you, dude. Assimilate and convert. I didn't realize we had non uh, getting people here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I did use a lot of our, our omen power, but I want to make sure that this remains in our religion. And then assimilate? Oh, God. Well, there's still Dacian pops, though. So, like, Dacian is fine. Thuration, not necessarily. 
Harpy is fine. Oh, God. Alright, hold on. Hold on. We need to go in here into the slaves. Okay. So, we need to assimilate the non Dacian ones. So, that's going to be you, 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 you. How do we get so many slaves? So oh. I guess through our wars, we just sent them over here to the capital. Okay. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Okay, so now we are suffering from a whole bunch of unhappy population over there. Okay, let's unpause. Oh, wait, we still need to build buildings. Jeez, I got distracted. Also, with all of these slaves, if there's a certain type of resource we want more of, we should move them there. Like, what do we get with the honey? Diplomatic rep? Not bad. We don't produce earthenware here. Wood, we already have a surplus on. Wood. We already have... Wait. That's wood. Right? Yeah, those would be the two wood. Leather... We are producing two of because of all the slaves in this place, I think. So our cohort recruit speed. Oh no, we're giving a bonus to light infantry defense. That's definitely worth keeping then, I guess. All right, never mind. We won't move anybody. Um, but for buildings, we do have one spot here. Let's make it in the marketplace. Two marketplaces there, marketplace there. Training camp here. All right. Probably should not have spent that last one though. I don't like to be under a hundred gold. Okay. Well, real quick. Let's move you two over there. And you are still disloyal. Because of course you are. <laughs> Nothing much has interested Zendurme for some time now. More recently, however, her eyes have begun to light up whenever her positions of power, fame, and prominence are mentioned. Perhaps she finally has a hobby. So our tribal chief is ambitious. That seems like a good trait to have. Plus one finesse, plus 20 prominence. Okay, so she's going to have a big family, I'm assuming. Her finesse is increased. Oh, she's the one that lowers taxes, isn't it? Oh, right. Bah. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. Conquer Pincensia. Well, there's really no reason to do her ambition, though. Right? She's already loyal and has maximum prominence. So, like, who cares? Oh, right, you're not going to let me merge these two because of the loyalty issues, so I can't... Uh... Okay, well, we can assign another commander here, then. Oh, now you're moving. Great. Alright, well, move you back over this way then. You can uncap that. Where are you going? Zadava?
All right. It looks like we're gonna be fine here. Never mind. You go back. Sorry. Sorry, I keep giving you different orders. You. We have this person. Theo. Hmm. She is the niece of the Archiatros? She's a member of the Thracian Kephistodid family. She is Thracian, religion Hellenic. Interesting. Do we want a Thracian Hellenic leading our armies? Does it matter? What do you get? Morale of armies plus five, loyalty gain chance. Six military is not the worst. Well, they're definitely gonna become loyal to you. But the morale of armies is nice. Is the morale of armies 5% better than one martial ability? Probably? We'll assign you the leader here. And you will become the, just so I know, uh, we'll just call you the great host. I didn't think of any clever names. My bad. All right, so we got the great host. We got the dragon host of edge. I'm just probably gonna keep that at this point. Do we crush those barbarians? You want my fish. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Buildings are built. You're currently starving. That's not good. I'm sorry you're starving. What do you want me to do about it? Oh my god. No. I can't afford this. Ooh, 33.58. She is at the edge. Okay, not a problem yet, and also probably she's gonna die. I need you to die so I can get control of your army, or have your daughter take, get, you know, raise a new one. I'm not gonna pay for your loyalty. Hell no. Let's see, how is this war going for you? You're in the negatives for money. Manpower is okay. You still have 27 cohorts. Your manpower sucks. Okay. And your manpower sucks. I think this should be a pretty easy war for us. Let's check the culture. Still flipping. Love it. Religion is probably not as good. Yep. Not as good. And then how's our omen? Ooh. We need some more power. We only have this for a couple months. Let's get this ready. So we're not going to have access to all of our legions, and we have a disloyal legion on top of that. So that's not good. We'll try and hold here. We'll do an invasion across the water before they can respond. Well, I guess we have to declare on these, though, don't we? So you're at war with Armenia. Did, was that... They weren't at war with Armenia before, were they? Do you have military access through... Sarasia? You don't. So you, your armies have nowhere to go. Do you have military access through... You do. So your armies are definitely coming down here. So you're actively fighting. You are not. And do you have military access through... Yeah, you do. Okay, so you're definitely fighting as well. So their armies are most likely pretty far away. 
You're still not being def or, uh, guaranteed. Oh god, fabricating claims, Jesus. Right, we need some oratory power. Travel team will gain popularity, which is good. Our elder loses health, and we will lose 50 gold. We'll do this one. Um. That's not good. I have to move around here. Great host. Don't want us suffering any attrition. We're up to 30,000 manpower. Maximum is 100,000. 100,000. I, hmm. I'm still thinking unrest is, is the one we do here. Because we're going to be suffering more unrest when the war starts. Oh, but the research. Ah. Uh. That's what we need. Alright, well, we have enough to form a claim. Fabricate claim. Now, what's gonna suck, though, is if these people don't join the war. Oh, wait, no, that is a separate war. You're in a war against Armenia, not Albania. Oh, Jesus. Okay. But yeah, like, if they break their defensive league and they don't join the war, then we actually can't get through because we don't have any ships. So maybe that's when we will build some ships. Um, listen. I'm, I like that you're going to give us money. I'll accept this, but we're about to go to war with each other. They are going to join. Okay. So, let's go to the Diplomacy map mode. Let's try and rush for the capital. You go over here. You go... Oh, Jesus. There's all sorts of weirdness. We gotta take that first. Can you move here? No. Alright, move up there. You will move here. Or, wait. Not you. You can move there. All right. Let's go, friends. Great. This is starting out great. We're suffering attrition. We need to get this fortress. Also, killing these 8,000 would probably be a good idea, but I don't think we can even move in there because of this fortress. So we're kind of stuck here. Suffering attrition slowly. Hmm. I mean, we do have our amazing commander, but I don't want us suffering the manpower hit by having her in there. But only... Four would be pulling, and she would. Hmm. Let's blitz her through. She would capture these a lot quicker. We're gonna be suffering some attrition though. Being blockaded, not much I can do about that. I guess the more we take for the sea tiles here, we should probably invest in a navy. We're going to have a lot of coastlines, so it's kind of getting to the point where that probably is a good idea. Oh! They have reinforcements coming from somewhere? <gasps> is that the one that we wanted to die? Was she the disloyal one? No, she had 75% loyalty. You're the elder. Okay. You are going to march your ass 
over here. No, this was the disloyal one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we've got all of your retinue. I don't think we're going to be able to afford all of this, so I think we just dis... Hmm. Well, hold off on that. I think I may take some of these units. Hold on. Great new unit. Okay, so I think we should be able to afford this. So we will send these 6,000 down as well and probably join our secondary army. Oh, our badass commander is in there. Wait. No, no, no. Our badass commander is coming still. So there she is. Victory! Victory! So we're going to march you back out. Okay, and then we're going to march her out. It sucks that some of these armies have our own troops there. Like, just right here. I can't, I can't afford to let them just sit here. So we're going to need to march you back to friendly lands, which means we need you to march... Actually, you take this box. You have none of our troops. So you'll come over here. You can suffer the attrition. And you will come back. And now here, we have a plus two because of how well our military commander is. How good she is. Okay. So that should go by a little quicker. Fantastic. Making 3.18 gold. Not the most gold, but it's something. Suppose we can go to four times speed? It's not like we're really being hounded by anybody. Take that off. So now these two are going to be suffering attrition. But... Oh, God. Uh, get those out of here. Ah. Move them over to this army. Force march them. So you now have one unit that is going to be pulling from our manpower. Dang it. It's not the end of the world at least. Problem is though we have five attrition rate right weight right here. I can't let that stand. Okay, so you're gonna move back. I wanted to keep these armies here in case they come in with a large army. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Let's move on to here, which means now we can move you to there. And you no longer have to worry about that. That's going to be taken over automatically, so you will move in right there. You don't need to move back anymore. In fact, you can now move across the water there, and then you'll move here. Okay. Take out the Force March. They were already almost crushed, so that's fine. Jesus. And now they're going to run into here and, what, die? Why are we not at war with you? Are you a different country? Are you an uncolonized land? Oh, they are. This doesn't connect. Which means we would have to get military access through you, and you're not going to give me that, are you? No, you're not. Hmm. I'd have to send you a gift. Which we may have to do that. Because we need to reach over here. 
I don't want to conquer any of these lands right now. But for the war goal, like for the war score to go up, we may have to step. Hmm. Is this still the best tactic for you? Go to um, bottleneck. Phalanx. So you're gonna merge together. We're gonna take this fight here. I think. Let's move you across the water. What? No. You have to, the uh, religious proceeding through the city will appease both sides. Nice. Tribute income. We don't have any tributaries. We have feudatories. Assassination costs, monthly tyranny goes down. Uh, oh, national tax, we still need to get that, Jesus. Get that instead. So they're running deception, so we don't get a bonus to either or. We have the heavy infantry, they do have some horse archers would do bonus damage. But for the most part, they got light infantry, so we're going to crush them with our heavy. Yeah. And we captured... This person. I haven't really looked at that too much. If we go to show characters in prison, you're a really good military commander. Do you know that? From what? Who do you serve? Oh, you serve these people. Oh, and you're a good military commander? Only 40 years old? So we can release the prisoner. If no home country exists, then they will join your character pool. I think I may hold on to you for a little bit there, friend. Where are you going? Abyss? Oh, okay, so they're probably retreating like way down here. Alright, okay, wait, what am, what am I even thinking? We don't need military access through Sriracha, we can just walk through this land. What the f- what am I even- like, like, that just hit me. Here I am worried, like, oh god, what are we gonna do? But first, we're going to keep these siege. Oh, wow. We got another person imprisoned. Another pretty good military commander. I don't know if we'll be needing both of them, though. For right now, uh, looks like we're going to be probably safe. So let's get some of our troops back. You're fine. You were going to join, I think, our great host here, right? Yeah. Which now, if we're going to get another military commander, we may not want to keep you here. Because look at that. People are already becoming loyal. And you're not the best one that we're going to have. Soonish. Why did I make you the head? Oh, it's because of one of your traits, wasn't it? Yeah, the morale of armies. So, yeah, let's do that. We're going to pull this army back. You'll join up with this. And then I think we may save that spot for... Can I dismiss you? Oh, we can just dismiss you. Okay, then all of you move back. Right. I guess we can't dismiss without having to worry about loyal. Well, that seems kind of weird though, right? Son of a... Okay. 
So you march over there as well. Looting be gentle, please. So we will march you up here. And then we'll march everyone else behind you. get there. Okay. That is fine. March up. You will hold this area. You're gonna march up to there. We're gonna merge these together. You are going to also march up here. Our new tribal or er, clan chief. And now we need to chase you down. Turn on force march. You are no longer needed. We will put you on defend borders. Oh, beautiful, nice. Okay. Barbarians are defeated. We will put you back over there. And now we have even more traditions, which we can't get right now, but we can look at them. Ooh, Siege Engineers. And monthly general loyalty. That says general loyalty. That it doesn't say clan chief loyalty. Because clan chiefs are not generals. We know this because we can't imprison them. Because it says they're not a general. But maybe for this stat, it counts as... I don't know. I have no idea. I guess we can see when I can get that invention. So we want to go straight up there. Again, you're going to stay to hold here. These three armies are marching up. We may keep you nearby as well in case we need reinforcements. And then we'll put you here in case we need some more troops as well. Level 1 fort, so we should be able to take that. And we got, I gotta remember, I don't actually want to take much. At the most, I think from Sarmatia, we just want to take their money or something. Uh, arthritis? No, 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 how is the um, provinces looking? Still loyal. Loyalty is still rising. Check our religion. Our unrest hasn't gone up too much. Perfect. Okay. And if we end this war quick enough, we don't have to worry about that. What is this? That is far too expensive. We gotta lose the popularity here. Because the unrest is only for one place for 10 years. Oh, Ardesia. So we're paying 271 gold for unrest and local manpower. I guess also 10 popularity. But, uh, let's see, it's Ordesia. Okay, so the local manpower plus 20% would be applied to these two freemen. Now we could move populations around so that it would be a bigger buff, but I think we just take the popularity hit here. That's just too expensive. We would go into the negatives and we could start getting some bad events. We do not want to do that. Are none of you moving? Move! God, we're losing so many troops right now. Ooh, 
Ooh, attrition is 4.698? Yikes. Alright. The price I pay to siege this down fast. Oh, come on! Why you gotta stay here? It's attrition down my own army. Come on. What the hell are you doing? So when we take this over, we should be able to piece out uh, this nation. Meotia. Although we shouldn't probably do that until we're ready to end the war entirely. Okay, so monthly general... Uh, well, hmm. We really want siege engineers right now. That makes you just go by fat. Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, luckily our tributary feudatory is there. So it looks like we got that under control. Oh no, we haven't had a duel for so long. Oh, you're only 37 years old. You are a pretty crappy military commander, but still. I don't want any of them to die right now. We're in the middle of a war. I don't want to have to raise a whole new host. We'll do one honor. One for honor. The duel finally settled with uh, Dida as the uncontested winner. I wonder if age is a factor, because she's better at the martial ability. For the moment, it looks like he's about to take the kill, even though it is duel for honor, but he turns around and leaves the dueling ground. So hopefully the duel will settle the feud between the two clan chiefs. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that outcome. Okay, so that siege is done. Now we just need to siege this capital over here. What level four to, okay, level one. She was the clan chief. Okay. Well. Welcome to the team. 77 years old. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You're going to stay where you are there, buddy. Because I don't think you're going to be around for long. It's a funny feeling I got. So you're the one who just died? Alright. Well, we will disband you. I like the heavy infantry you got, though. We really need to save a bunch of civic power at this point. That's expensive to get rid of you. Hmm. I mean, we could maybe keep some of these. Right? Oh, it's being sieged by Sarasia? I thought Sarasia was like guaranteeing one of these. Well, that's interesting. Can I maybe piece you out? Until okay, so we can't until oh later this year. I'm assuming they would accept. I guess we'll just try and siege what we can in the meantime. Who else is a part of this war? 
So maybe we can white piece them out as well, because I can't even reach those. So next month? God, my vassals are just coming over. <laughs> it took them forever to get over here. Uh, looks like they're coming in as well. Eh. Let's get out of here. I'm assuming they're going to accept a piece. And they will. In fact... I'm gonna take their money before Serasia can. <laughs> no such state! The state doesn't exist! Wakanda forever! Uh, let's, let's just piece them out here. There we go, this is gonna be black flagged, probably? Maybe? And then we want to have peace with you. Can I take your money? Uh, oh, I can take some! Fairly well. Then for these two. Ooh. How much population do they have? Okay, only 36 in total. So our hit shouldn't be too much. So I think we just take them. Let's hope this is okay. We could have them become our subjects. It would be less of a hit to our aggressive expansion, and we won't have to worry about the culture and religion. What do the provinces look like here? Hold on. But if we take them, plus them, then we just get the whole province. Uh, pardon me. Why am I in a war against the Sarmatian Revolt? What? <laughs> what? Okay, so I'm guessing what happened is that... They had a revolt when I was still at war with them, and the revolt must automatically declare war on anyone who is currently warring against their- Oh my goodness, are you serious? I can't reach them. Alright, well... Like, what is this? Is this part of the revolt? I can't leave here, can I? What is going on? Anyway, uh, super peace. We'll just take this. Take your money. Lower the aggressive expansion. And then we are going to take what you own as well. Lower aggressive expansion. <sighs> so now these become pirates, because that nation doesn't exist. And since that nation no longer exists, we can go into the character tab, and I can be like, yo, man, what up, dude? Uncaring. Enslavement efficiency. Corruption plus 20? Whoa. So we would pay him a lot of money, though. He gives discipline plus five percent. How old are you? Forty? Release prisoner.
So you're now part of us? There we go. So now we can move you down here. In fact, we want to move you all like over here. Move you like uh, over there. This is unfortunate. I have no way to deal with you. But let's take a look at the loyalty. Actually, it starts out at 69. Okay, cool. And you're the governor. You're going to change the culture, which is what we would want you to do. And we may not need as many troops over here anymore, so we can probably... Like, can we detach you and then still be okay? We're looking at this right here. Oh, wait. Do you have governor troops as well? Oh, yeah, you do. Because he's the governor of both. So when we put this back... Oh, is there a maximum of minus five? He is the bodyguard. Okay, so now your host is mine. Which was it, this one? Or is this the one that I... I think this is the one that I made myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, it was this host. So disband this unit. Let's switch map modes real quick. And so you probably have a new retinue somewhere. Is that right? So you become a high priest. Okay. The war chief is one martial ability. Oh, okay. Luckily, that doesn't really matter. Cohort recruit speed? Who cares? So I don't think we got the prisoner. Maybe I read that wrong. And we don't have anybody imprisoned anymore. I must have read that wrong then. And there's nothing we can do here except for a super piece at some point. And that really sucks because now that means our war exhaustion is going to go up. Man. I doubt I can get any military access through you. It would be rough. Like, we could... We could. That would be 25. We're at a neg. Oh, actually, well, we're at a negative 35. What do we need for a positive? We would need. Actually, yeah, we we could do this. We have to spend a little bit of um, opinion power. Is spending opinion power worth the? Uh. I mean, the thing is, also, the revolt maybe will get killed. Because it's at war with a bunch of people right now. So maybe we just give it time. Moesia gave me 81 gold. Hello, Moesia. Are you still being guaranteed? Moesia is in a war with Moesia. Man, that's troubling times, dude. Troubling times. You're still guaranteed by Saldensia. Saldensia has lost some territory to Brukia? Is in a war with Moet. Oh, I see. There's the new Moesia. They still have 91 cohorts right now. They have really good research. A lot better than us. Ooh, we're also approaching the time when we can't declare war on them. Whoa, that's too many people. Hold on. Pause, please. Huh. Yeah, that's far too many people. The great host has no commander. What will we do? 
We'll wait for this unit to move out. Sure. I'm friendly. All right, so we got 17,000 troops here. Hmm. Oh, we probably want to get rid of this. I don't think we'll need a fortress here. Don't need to pay for that. Also, we want to colonize. But we won't be able to do... Actually, we probably will be able to do that. But we want to save our civic power also for all those inventions that we want right now. So local government troops 4.9. Local government troops 5. I think it maxes out at 5. And it's probably based on the how many population are there compared to how many troops you have. Would be my guess. So now we're going to want to move all of you over here. Because the fight against Saldencia is definitely coming. For sure. You're defending borders, which is fine for right now. We'll probably change that soon-ish. You are going to be marching over here as well. The 17k? Probably. I have to find some kind of um, commander for you. Okay. Oh, look what our... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see what you're doing. Mm. I don't want to lose any money right now. In fact, we need to spend some money. I also don't want to lose any civic power, especially. So our vassal's going all the way around through the un uh, Okay, yeah, yeah. Why do you go, vassal? You go do that. I am proud. Is this suffering any penalty due to us being blockaded? I don't think so. Do not think so. Our bodyguard is dead. What would we do? <laughs> there we go. I think this is almost like a useless stat. Like, who cares about the recruitment speed? Oh, let's replace you. Oops. You're much better. Apothecary. Okay. Is anyone going to be considered scorned because of this? I think we may be okay. Also, we're suffering a lot of attrition right now. Because all of our movies, our armies are like stacked on top of each other. It's fine. So they are still going down. Even though we have... What I'm assuming is the maximum for troops local troop count. They're just really not happy. That will change eventually because they are going to be flipping their pops. There's not that many populations there. So I imagine that flipping them should go rather quickly. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at this color. Fantastic. Enact law cost. Minus 10%. I forgot to check all these new ones here. Monthly Tyranny, eh. The Enact Law Cost, I'm not going to change any laws right now because it really makes the Chiefs upset, so I don't think it's really worth it necessarily. Tribesman Output, fantastic. Research Points plus 10%, done. You had me at a low. You're the best. My, my feudatories are the best. And my favorites. Alright, so the local autonomy here. Can I change this yet? I mean, with the blessing, I can. This governor is apparently very corrupt, which is not great. Maybe we change you? Commerce income plus 5%. What's your population types here? 
We don't have that many people anyway. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter too much right now anyway. I don't think. Ooh. Ooh. Research points plus 10%. Hmm. What was your thing? You don't have anything. And this has a lot of population. A lot of citizens. So really we should probably change you to this so we can get more research points out of here. And they're 19 years old. The finesse is not great, but I mean the research though. And then they changed it to cultural assimilation. <laughs> Damn you for making me have tyranny. There we go. How many tribes do we even have left? Maybe I should have checked that before I... Oh boy. Um, friends, we have like no tribes left here anyway. So, that was wasted for the most part. It does give us more civilization, though, and we are currently at the max. Damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's go through here and see if we can maybe build some stuff. Where's the promise map mode again? No? What did I just do? Did I just assimilate a slave? Did not mean to do that. Exit that screen. All right. Buildings. Buildings. Training camp. Marketplace, marketplace. Promote you. We want research. Also, that's been like all of our oratory power, but it's fine. More marketplaces. What is our research currently at now? 93.1% efficient. Do we have a better researcher than you? What is your current ability? Seven, so no. That's unfortunate. But it's also okay. Well, friends, I think we may end this episode here. We did a lot. We gained some more territory. We are now culture flipping it. We're going to have to switch to religion flipping over here soon. I mean, honestly, we could probably do it right now. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we should just get all of this changed right now because we're already trying. And then our truce with Saldencia is going to be up here pretty soon. They are still very powerful. They are guaranteeing three countries, but they still don't have any allies. So I think that's who we're going to go for in the next episode. Uh, how do my vassal do? Do they get the revolts? They only have one territory left, and it's currently being sieged. So I think this war is going to be destroyed or ended soon. So we can start getting our uh, war exhaustion down as well. <sighs> that's going to do it, everybody. Let's end it here. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!